Help. Engaged. Greetings everyone, and welcome to the first part of, Adventures in Camping. So I played Modern Warfare 3, and reached level 80, and this was mostly through running and gunning. Let's just say I got bored with that style, so I tried a few different styles. You might have seen my knife only videos, and now I present to you, my camp only videos. I will also give you a few tips on how to camp effectively. First of all, the tools of the trade. A claymore, is a camper's best friend, bouncing baddies are okay, but the claymore is far superior. I would also recommend, the heartbeat sensor, as well as the portable radar. As you can see, at the start of this game, I am finding it difficult to set up camp. You see, I have become too used to running and gunning, and automatically run towards battles. But I settled down eventually. Heads up, enemy UAV spotted. Sitrep. I am using an assault rifle, because if your intention is to stay in one place, then you don't need the extra mobility of the submachine gun. Also, submachine guns do not have heartbeat sensors. Now many of you will shout noob, at the mere mention of the heartbeat sensor, but I will have to get biblical on your asses. Remember this quote? Let he who is without sin, cast the first stone. But as far as modern warfare is concerned, let he who has never used the radar, cast the first grenade. When I say use radar, I mean every time a UAV is in the air, and every time someone who is not using a silencer, appears on the radar when they fire their gun. Every time you use the radar under these circumstances, you are just as much of a noob, as the guy who is using the heartbeat sensor, or portable radar. I think you would do well to remember that. If you are such an expert, then stick a bit of paper on the part of the screen that shows the radar, and then you can talk. Until then, keep your opinions to yourself. I admit, I am not so innocent myself, I sometimes look at the kill cam, and curse at the guy using the heartbeat sensor, but I have to remind myself, that it is part of the game, and I could use the assassin perk to counteract it, assuming it is available. Not a bad score, I still have the highest kill death ratio, and I didn't get any help from air support. The next match takes place in the interchange level, where I actually camp down properly, a couple of times. Hang on, I think there is someone nearby. As you can see, it is hard to set up camp, sometimes. This looks like a good place to camp, but a bit risky since it's out in the open. But that's what the assault rifle is for. Although I am camping, I am still changing position, after almost every kill. Scavenger. Useful, if the guy you just killed spawns around the corner. Damn, ran out of bullets, or that would have been the sixth kill in a row.
Heads up. Enemy UAV spotted. Enemy UAV spotted. I am using Sid Rep instead of Dead Silence because I wanted to unlock Sid Rep Pro. With Sid Rep Pro, enemy footsteps are louder, which will prove to be very useful if used with the Specialist Strike package. Sid Rep Pro is normally the third perk I unlock when I use the Specialist Strike package. They're losing this fight! Hear that? Those are my own footsteps, and I really hate hearing them. But I will have to, until I unlock Sid Rep Pro. Meanwhile, I will have to crouch, to avoid hearing them. Get silence. UAV spotted. Never a good idea to lie in front of your claymore, but I just know someone is bound to come through there. This is what camping is all about. Time to change positions. Get silence. Looks like someone has spawned in my camp. Let's go say hello. So this was the final score, a little better than the previous game, and I still have the highest kill death ratio. If you found this video helpful, and would like to see some more adventures in camping, then please let me know by commenting, giving this video a thumbs up, and subscribing. If you didn't like this episode, because of the camping, then maybe you should have read the title of this video more carefully. Either way, thanks for watching everyone, and remember, there are more gaming resources at my website. That's all for now. And it's goodbye from me.